Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, today we're talking about why I decided to embark on a healthy journey, a healthy lifestyle journey. Why? Why at this time in my life? Honestly, I got sick of being sick. What do I mean by that? So I was eating whatever I want, quite frankly. I went to the doctor just for my um, annual checkup, and they ran my blood work. When she ran my blood work, she came back and said, that my calcium level was super high, like 10 times higher than it should have been. So I didn't know why at first, I had to think about it. And I said, why is my calcium level so high? And she actually wanted to do additional testing. She said, it might be a sign of something else. As I got to thinking about it, I was like, I have been having a lot of stomach issues after I eat. So I was popping Tums like crazy, guys. I was buying bottles and bottles of Tums. And I would eat like chicken wings, french fries, um, have alcohol and then my back would hurt, or I would feel nauseous. And I was like, what's going on? So my sister was ill in 2019, and I actually lost her to pancreatic cancer. But during that time, I ate a chicken sandwich, a very popular chicken sandwich that came out. And I finally was able to find one because I couldn't find one. I'm originally from Georgia, and um, I live in Georgia. I'm originally from Michigan. But um, I was up in Michigan, and so I finally found this sandwich. I ate the sandwich. 20 minutes later, I was in the bathroom vomiting, and I felt terrible. So I was like, what is this? So that was like around October. I returned back home. I lost my sister in December. And around May of the following year, 2020, I was again doubled over in pain. I was in such pain, I had to end up going to urgent care. So I go to urgent care, long story short, she runs my number, she calls me back, she said, I'll call you with the results. And she says, you definitely need to go to the ER immediately. I'm thinking to the ER, <laughs> why? My stomach hurts. So I get to the ER and they tell me that my gallbladder is gone. It's gone. So they run my numbers and they, sit, they tell me they have to do a gallbladder surgery. So I'm like, okay, fine. I didn't want to do it, but my other sister had gallbladder problems. My mom had gallbladder problems, so I figured it was just a problem that ran in the family. So I ended up letting them do the, the surgery. But before they could even do the surgery, they came back and said that my pancreas number was too high to do the surgery. And I, you know, I just told you I lost my sister to pancreatic cancer. So I'm like, do I have pancreatic cancer? So he was like, no, sometimes when your gallbladder isn't functioning properly to offset it, the pancreas will work harder. So I said, okay. So they waited a couple of days. I was in the emergency all in the middle of COVID by myself in the hospital. I had to be admitted. That was the first time I had ever been admitted to the hospital. And they ended up doing gallbladder surgery. So I did have a remove. Come back home thinking, oh, I'm going to still do what I want to do, right? That was the surgery wasn't enough to scare me and make me get my life together. Now I come back home still trying to eat chicken wings and still trying to drink with my friends and do everything I was doing. Still living that life, you know, just living a life. Nothing can happen to me, even after I've had surgery. So I'm eating, still popping Tums, not as many now because I know it's bad for me. And it, it showed up in my numbers. So I quit the Tums thing, but I actually had to end up going because I was having like a backup in my throat after I would eat. And I said, well, what is this? It felt like something was in my throat. The more and more I researched it, it was GERD, acid reflux, basically. And that means your body's not producing enough acid to process the food, so it actually comes back up in your throat. So I was going through that. Thus the title, I'm sick of being sick. So I finally decide, you know what? I need to, uh, I was gonna tell you, I got a prescription for something that helps with the acid. So it did help. But one thing leads to another. So taking medication to try to cover over something is not good. It helps a little bit, which it did help me, but taking that particular prescription, which I still take occasionally, it caused little thin cuts in my finger. So one day I was doing something with some alcohol or something, and I said, what's wrong with my fingertips? It feel like it's all sliced up. It was sliced up because of the medication. It caused a thinness in your skin. So one thing leads to another, right? So instead of me coming home and do the healthy thing and start eating right, no, I come home still trying to play the game, eat what I want, take a pill, eat what I want, take a pill. Well, I finally got to the point, again, just recently, I'm sick of that. I'm sick of being sick. 
and I decided I'm going to do something about it. So in my case, as I stated in my video before, and you'll keep hearing me say, I've decided to do Weight Watchers. Why am I doing Weight Watchers will be my next video. But the short version of that is, I decided to do it because I remember it's not as restrictive. I started watching videos about plant-based diets and quite frankly, I'm very, very interested. I'm not at that point where I'm ready to say, I'm going to just go plant-based. I'm not. I won't even fake it. I can't act like it. No way, no how. But I am open to maybe trying a meal without meat or trying to eat more chicken. Because for me, processing beef is not really a great option. Whenever I eat beef, I have problems. And that's just the reality of it. I know that. But that being the case, I decided I'm sick of being sick. So, I'm making some changes. Again, the channel's called Healthy Life with Kimmy. I'm not going to do it perfectly. You're going to hear me say that all the time. But I'm trying. And when I do make small changes, I can tell the difference. I realized that even for myself, having coffee sometimes was not good. Because I already can't process the acid in my body. So even though I was drinking decaf thinking it was a better alternative, little did I know, it still caused more acid in my stomach. So I was feeling sick. So I said, I got to give up the coffee. So I gave up the coffee for a couple of weeks or whatever, and I felt better. So again, I'm sick of being sick. If I realize something is making me sick, I got to quit it. I try to do these workarounds. Have you ever did that? Do you eat stuff knowing that it's going to make you sick? You know, do you eat too much chocolate and you already know it's going to cause you a problem? Are you having too much coffee and it causes you to be jittery? Let's just be real. Sometimes we don't want to face reality. Are you sick of being sick too? Drop in the comments if it's something that you know is making you sick, but you keep doing it. And I know I'm not by myself. I know I'm not. Are you sick of being sick? Are you sick of being sick? So just let me know. Watch out for my next few videos. Click subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.